Good morning, good morning everyone. It's Ian Parallax here and I've been getting a ton of questions about how you can get on to seasonal and private servers in Idle Heroes. So I'm going to do a quick how-to video of how you can get these private and seasonal servers on your Android device, uh, whether that be a phone, tablet, or even your PC. So let's start with the PC. So starting with the PC, the first thing you're going to want to do is download an emulator, an Android emulator. I know of two, uh, Nox Player and Bluestacks. I personally use Nox Player and have been uh, extremely satisfied with it. Um, so I will post the link to Nox Player, um, or at least the website, in my uh, video info. Uh, section. So if you're interested, you could just go right to that link or check out Bluestacks. I'm also I'm also pretty positive that there are more out there. Uh, so you could do a little research and find the emulator that works for you. Uh, so once you download and install the app, uh, you're it's going to look something like this. So once you open Nox Player, it's going to look something um, to something like this, maybe with less apps. Uh, kind of your standard setup for a phone uh, or tablet. Um, so at this point, um, now that I'm in the emulator itself on the PC, the steps you have to take on the PC and phone um, are identical. So I'm just going to continue going through the steps in Nox Player, uh, but you can follow along with your phone just fine and everything should be the same. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the settings uh, of your phone. You're going to want to go to security and you're going to want to go down and make sure that the box is checked for unknown sources. Basically saying that you're allowing kind of un, I guess, registered or unknown apps to be installed on your phone or uh, PC or tablet. Alrighty, next step is going to the Play Store and we are going to want to download the Reddit app. Um, so I already have it installed but you're just going to want to come over uh, and install the Reddit app on either your phone or um, your emulator for your PC. Once you have your Reddit app downloaded, you'll give it, click it, open it up, and then we're going to search. You don't need to worry about logging in, signing up, any of that. Um, I'm going to search it here just to show you. You're going to search Idle Heroes Private Server. Um, Reddit has been having a lot of trouble um, connecting, a um, lot of network issues, so I'm going to go over to my PC um, just to show you the websites and where you'll want to go to, but I think it's just Reddit's down right now or, or having troubles, so when you do it, you should have no problem. So what you're going to want to do, once the Idle Heroes private server Reddit loads, just click on it, and then you're going to want to click the download info, the very first uh, thread or sticky or whatever you want to call it. And it looks like this. Um, so I downloaded the media file version. Um, when you And you're going to want to download this in on your the Reddit app, either on your phone uh, or in through the emulator itself, uh, like I did um, at least for the search wise. Because once you do this, you then can open that file it will install the app. Um, just hit allow um, when it asks. It asks a few questions. Just hit allow, um, and then you should be good to go. Um, there's a Discord here. I know I haven't actually gone to it, but I've heard a lot of people say there's useful guides. Um, also, I have I did not run into any trouble when I downloaded the private server. But here is some uh, quick help about what to do if everything doesn't work out um, and again it just goes over um, how to get to that device setting security and allow unknown sources like I went through so hopefully with that you guys will now be able to enjoy Idle Heroes private server but with that guide I hope it helps all of you get um, into the private server and seasonal server but one last thing you really need to know is if you go over to um, the servers, there should only be two. So season one, or server one, excuse me, is your private server. All of your, everything you acquire here, 
um, stays where it is, does not reset each month. Now the seasonal server uh, begins basically on the first of each month and you will basically have one month to get as much progress as you can and you will actually gain rewards based on your rankings to go towards your private server account. I mainly right now I'm just playing seasonal um, and as you'll and when you look through the info the seasonal server is very different um, but it's a ton of fun you your VIP 13 you get tons of quests um, a lot more refreshes double resources basically extremely high um, five star uh, heroic scroll summon chances let's see if this is a good example Vesa. <laughs> So yeah, it's not uncommon to get anywhere from one to, to six five-star heroes in a pool. So I really hope you guys are able to get onto the idle heroes private server and seasonal server with no, no trouble. If you do get on, you can add 3M Parallax uh, with this ID. Also, if you want to, you can join um, our, our guild. There's not very many of us right now. Um, but feel free um, to join uh, I idle EMP ID 1302 um, but with that I hope you guys all enjoyed the video now if you have any questions or run into any trouble please do not hesitate uh, to post in the comments uh, and I will try my best I'm not an IT guy but I will try my best to to work through whatever issues you guys are having to to like, give you access to idle here as private server but with that, Ian Parallax here, and remember, it's all about how you look at things.